mean to scare y'all. It's just, you know, it's Halloween, and I got all my decorations out, and there's a lot of fun stuff happening around town this month. I just like to share with y'all, so why don't you just take a deep breath, grab a bottle of candy, and enjoy the program. <laughs> Halloween is back in Burlington, which means the return of a family favorite, the Halloween Spooktacular, featuring games, a bonfire, a haunted woods walkthrough, and the all-new Candy Crane. I caught up with Burlington Parks and Recreation Director Brendan Egan about this year's turnout and the excitement of being back to a town staple after a pandemic's hiatus. The event was, uh, let's say, very well attended. Um, you know, we, we really... Uh, put a lot into into the event, changed some things around, and uh, we were pleasantly surprised by the number of people we had. You know, the pandemic has made it tricky um, as we've been allowed to do more and more things. Um, we never know how many people we're gonna get. Um, we probably, we planned for about 2,000 people today, and um, I think we probably saw 4,000 or more. There were also some changes made to keep everyone outdoors as much as possible, with a crowd as big as this year's turnout. The Spooky Walk, which happens in the uh, woods here at Simons, was a new event for us. Usually we have a haunted house in the um, Visco building, but this year, um, you know, wanted to keep things outdoors as much as possible and we have this great spooky walk. We invited local businesses to set up a 10 by 10 area um, with their spooky scene. And uh, we had six businesses come out and set up scenes. And uh, we're really excited. We think it's something that will grow. We have awesome property here on, with Simons Park and the woods just lend itself to a nice spooky walk on Halloween. Um, the candy crane drop was uh, the brainchild of Kelly Lehman, our program coordinator. And it was awesome. People were raving about it. I think that's probably what drew uh, <laughs> the number of people we got. Um, but it was something she had seen and wanted to try. And uh, it uh, was actually spectacular. Spooktacular. It was spooktacular. <laughs> Trunker treaters flocked to BHS on Sunday, October 17th for the third annual Trunker Treat event presented by Burlington Girl Scouts. The event doubles as a fundraiser for the Burlington Food Pantry. Trunker Treat got started by the Girl Scouts to give back to the community. We accept donations for the food pantry and it's about bringing the community together in a fun, safe atmosphere. After a 2020 hiatus, the community was ready to get out and partake in some Halloween fun. The, the turnout has been great. Last year we had um, over 400 people come through and I would say we are meeting and exceeding that number. Wonderful. Being able to get the community out together, again in a safe environment, and be able to just be together and laugh and smile. At the end of the day, over 850 pounds of food were donated to the food pantry. Events like Trunk or Treat help Girl Scouts give back to the Burlington community. Girl Scouts is all about community service and having fun, and I'd say we hit it out of the park with this one. Um, and we also like to put the Girl Scouts of Burlington name out there. So if anyone's ever interested in joining a troop, we're always looking for new people to come on in and have fun with us. Girl Scouts is really here for the community, and we're here to help out and bring everybody together and have fun. Trunks were decorated by local Girl Scout troops, families, and community members. Uh, we have a Nightmare Before Christmas theme. We have two cars, actually. We have one tr assistant troop leader's car and then the troop leader's car behind us. Um, we did Nightmare Before Christmas. We have a bunch of stuff, as you can see. What made you guys decide on Nightmare Before Christmas? Like A lot of us were old cheerleaders who went to Disney and stuff, um, and we wanted a theme that we could all kind of you know, mix with and we all liked, so all the girls decided to put it together and formed two cars of excitement. 
Now I can tell you are Cruella and one of the 101 Dalmatians. What made you decide on those costumes? Well, I recently went to her house and we watched it and we said that would be a great costume. I just think Cruella's cool. <laughs> I can see you have the whole trunk designed like 101 Dalmatians. Can you tell me about that? Well, we thought since Cruella's a designer, we would print out some sketches that looked like stuff she would design and um, leftovers from the fabric of this. Can you tell me about the design of your trunk? Well, we wanted to uh, share it with the, with the Great Pumpkin and what the Great Pumpkin means for the season. So we figured we'd bring it down here and uh, support the trunk or treat. You having a good day so far? It's been an awesome day so far. The costumes around here are excellent. What do you like best about Halloween? The costumes, the dressing up, the play and pretend. Uh, well, we're down here just to, just to get ourselves out in the community and just to let people know that we do work with uh, kids starting at age six or first grade. Um, right on up to adulthood and, and into their, we have people who have participated with us into their 70s and 80s. So um, we just like to pe have, let people know we're in the community, um, right at the Park Playhouse. Um, and uh, right now, actually tonight, we're doing an adult performance, which is live streamed um, on TV or on uh, Broadway On Demand uh, of a play called Love Sick by John Cariani. And good day so far? Good day so far. This is great. I mean, the costumes are terrific. There's lots and lots of kids here today um, with their parents, and it's a nice, safe, outdoor event. Um, we're giving away lots of candy, and we also have some takeaway masks for the kids so they can kind of start to, you know, experiment with being somebody else, which is what Halloween's all about. We're here, um, you know, giving out all kinds of superhero treats. I have superhero bracelets and gliders and frisbees, um, and we're just sort of here also letting everybody know that the library is here, and we have all kinds of events and stuff like that. Um, and celebrating Halloween. So we have a superhero trunk right here. Um, and actually I have Captain Marvel hanging out my window uh, right now. And I'm wearing my Captain Marvel uh, sweatshirt because we love superheroes at the library. What do you like best about Captain Marvel? Uh, I love that she's, you know, a really strong girl. Um, and I love that she's got all kinds of superpowers. She doesn't just have one. She can fly. She kind of has like a laser beam. She's just really awesome. All right, so I'm here with? Aubrey. Aubrey, you're with the Allen School of Dance? Yes. What are you guys doing at Trunk or Treat today? We're advertising for dance. How long have you been with Allen School of Dance? Since I was born. Very cool. What do you like best about Allen School of Dance? There's so many friends and we're all like family. Can you guys tell me what the Burlington Police Department is doing at Trunk or Treat today? Uh, we're out here having a good time with the kids. We've got the command post with us. Kids are going to walk through, see what this vehicle is like, and get some candy and having fun. Why is it important for Burlington Police to be at community events for kids like this? Uh, we just, you know, just want to be here. We are part of the community, obviously, and we just like having fun, meeting people, getting used to the kids, having them see us so they can feel comfortable with us and have a good time. Do you guys have any safety tips for trick-or-treaters this year? Uh, always, you know, wear bright clothing. Anything glow in the dark helps. You want to be seen walking around late at night. You've got flashlights with you. And just be safe, you know, travel in packs, have your friends with you, have your parents with you, things of that nature. Yeah, use the buddy system, stick with your friends, uh, and don't take any candy that's already open. Do you have any safety tips for trick or treaters this year? Uh, I mean, I think it's definitely important to stay with adults if you're a little bit younger. Um, stick to well-lighted lighted areas. Um, and just, you know, go places that you're familiar with rather than someplace you've never been before. DB Studios is a dance studio. We have classes for kids and adults. We teach jazz, ballet, modern, and we have a competitive dance team. And we have a location in Burlington that just opened up in Bedford Street. Can you tell me what you guys are doing at Trunk or Treat today? We are passing out candy and we have our hip hop dance team here performing a little spooky number. Miss Kendra, one of our teachers, choreographed it just for this event so that we could, um, you know, just have a little bit of fun at this special place.
How does it feel to get out in the community and be part of events like this? Oh, it's so nice, especially because it's really nice and safe and outdoors, and it's really exciting to see people out and about, see the costumes. It's been amazing. Now, can you tell me about your costume? Sure. We are ladybugs. Uh, this is Hazel. She's a year old, um, and we decided to dress up as ladybugs because her nickname is Ladybug. What do you like about Halloween, Hazel? <laughs> me too. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I hope you have a great day. Yeah, thank you so much. Take care. Why don't we see who's dressed up as who for this spirited Halloween? Who are you dressed up as? Um, Chief from Halo. Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm dressed up as Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. What do you like about Nightmare Before Christmas? Sally. <laughs> what do you like about Sally? Um, her dress. And who are you guys dressed up as? I'm being a dark vintage clown. I'm a cheerleader because I just came back from the football game. <laughs> How'd the football game go? I, I don't even know. I didn't even look at the score. <laughs> so what are we dressed up as this evening? Mario. We're like husband and wife blow-up things. How'd you guys come up with that? Um, I just saw this costume and she decided to buy one too, so... What are we dressed up as? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> so... How do we come up with the uh, idea of the Mar uh, Avengers? For the um, he likes Spider-Man, so we take uh, something to all together be related. So I mean, Gabby is a good idea. Who you dressed up as, Gabby? Uh, Runa from the show called Kagerugu. Can you tell me about that show? Uh, so it's like an anime show where there's like these teenagers, and they're at this like gambling school. So really, what they do? Well, I'm not. Sure how to explain it, but they're trying to like be the top rank on like money. It's like kind of like a Japanese show. Um, yeah. What made you choose that costume? I don't know. My sister just wanted to match with me, really. So she's a different uh, character from the show. Can you girls tell me who you're dressed up as? I'm an Egyptian. I'm a witch. And I'm um. <laughs> <laughs> you're what? You're who? I'm Amy from Descendants. Oh, okay. I'm dressed as Hermione Granger. I'm dressed up as Mario sitting on a Yoshi. Why do you like Mario? Because it's a video game and I like video games. And what do you like about Hermione? I like that she is really smart and um, she doesn't, s and she's proud of that and she's really determined. Now Hermione's a Gryffindor. Are you a Gryffindor? Yes. <laughs> All right, I'm here with? Gary. Gabby. Hi, Gabby. Who are you dressed up as? Winnie Winfred from Hocus Pocus. What do you like about Winnie from Hocus Pocus? Uh, she's evil. Do you like that movie? Yes, a lot. I just finished watching it for the 10th time. One of the best things about Halloween is all the candy you get to get. What's your favorite candy out there, everybody? I like Skittles. Uh, I like Whoppers. Uh, probably Kit Kat. Starburst. Skittles, full-size Skittles. 100 grand. Almond Joy. Um, probably Reese's. Hmm, probably Junior Mints. Light Pops. Um, Light Pop? I like things that are sour and sweet. I like Skittles and Sour Patch. I like Starburst and Blue Raspberry Dum Dum. Kit Kat. Swedish Fish. Uh, Milky Way. I don't know. A lot, of, like basically anything chocolate. Sour Skittles. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm all of us at BK. Have a happy and safe Halloween. Good night. Uh, team Cap or Team Iron Man? Team Iron Man. What's your favorite color? Green. I never would have guessed.